Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we're going to be learning how to build this gigantic, well it's not gigantic, it's actually pretty small. It's a pretty small barracks, it's a Roman barracks that I've built uh, within my fort on my Roman series. So if you guys haven't seen that already, please do check it out. It's part of the forts that I've got up on the hill. Uh, lots and lots of Roman stuff around. Um, but yeah, it's a nice and simple little Roman barracks. It's actually smaller than a normal Roman barracks would be, but I've kind of got the garrison split into two different buildings. That says my small Roman barracks one, that's the second one. Pretty basic rooms, they are of eight people each, so they have eight bunks, which is normal. Um, and it's also got like a little cooking area and like table type area in here. Um, and it's also got, it's got one, two, three rooms like that. I think it's got six rooms like that in total, as far as I remember, yeah, three, four, five, and six, yeah, six rooms like that in total of eight soldiers each, and that's got the main centurion in here, who has his own little room, uh, which is kind of nice, double bed, nice big chest, little planning area, that could just be for troop exercises rather than actual grand strategy type stuff, uh, as is same for one of them, and, and a nice little sitting area outside as well. Pretty cool. Um, we will be jumping over to my tutorial world, my flat world, and we're also going to be switching this over to the default texture pack. So guys, let's jump over and let's get started on this one. Alright guys, so here we are on my tutorial world and here we are on, well, in default even, not on default. Um, so there are going to be a couple minor changes, like where we actually put in some of this colour, like this yellow stained clay. I think it does look good like here and it does look good on the sides, but uh, in general it doesn't look good on the front. So we're going to do a couple minor changes. Also, this one was built into a cliff. So you're going to see the cliff that's been copied over. Um, so we are going to do some minor changes, but we are going to still have the, the stairway going around the back of it. So what we're going to need anyway is some smooth sandstone. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm gonna actually going to try and line it up with this one. Um, if you grab your smooth sandstone, those are going to be your pillars. So we're going to go one, two, three like that. Then with our normal sandstone, just do five going across this way. So you go one, two, three, four, five. Then you get your pillar, one, two, three, like that. Pretty sure it's three, yeah, one, two, three, and then we've got another three on top of it as well. So, but we can do that in a bit, I think. Yeah, we'll do that in a bit, but we'll just fill this in for the time being. I'm actually going to switch over to Conquest of the Sun as well, because it's so bright. Okie dokie. Um, next thing that we're going to do is we are going to have eight blocks. Actually, we're going to have nine blocks here. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. Then switch around this way and do four. One, two, three, and four. But this last one, we're actually going to switch out for smooth sandstone. So one, two, three. Fill those in. There we go. Get rid of those. Put that in there. That's what we get for the time being. And then on this side part here, we're going to have five again. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to have a pillar. So you get seven in total. There we go. And then going around this way. If we add a total of nine blocks on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then have your pillar. And fill that all in. Just like that, and there we go. And <laughs> I've put so many blocks around that, it's ridiculous. If you're actually able to place blocks correctly, unlike me, you'll be able to just do this pretty quickly. There we go, that's what you get for your basic box. Um, now what you need to do is actually grab, oh yeah, just grab sandstone stairs for that point. Don't need to do anything else there. Uh, you could put this little fence piece on, why not? So what we'll do here is we're just going to go forwards one block, go one, two, three, with just normal sandstone. And do a stair, and then do a stair across there like that. Um, that just adds in a little bit more detail kind of stuff here, I guess. Just makes it a little bit different, I think. Uh, we can also add in that fence before I forget. The next thing that we're going to do uh, is we're putting the door. So we go one, two, door, one, two, three, door, one, two, door, like that. And then this one's in the middle. Um, so I need to remember that. So if we grab doors... There you go. So one, two, then put a door in. You should put it in this way. Put it upside down. One, two, three, then a door. Again. Then one, two, and that's where they're gonna have a corner door. I think this one I just did that, didn't I? Look. We'll have to keep on having a quick look over there. No, I didn't. I put it in an extra bit of wall. Okay. That's fine. There we go. So put this in here and knock that one out. Put this one in here. Move that one back to there. Knock that one out. Put that in there like that. And that gives us a little door. And then right here, we're going to have a door as well. Just like that. Okay. Now with your sandstone, we're just going to move across here. And then what we're going to do here, we're going to go one, two, three. 
put in a wall. So your first wall there. And again, one, two, three, and then you put in your wall. Like that, and then one, two, three, and that. actually we don't need to do it there, sorry. So we've basically got three by five, I think it's three by five is the, the sizes for these. See? Five, three across. So that's a kind of size for those actual things. Um, nice and simple. I'm going to do the flooring. I can't quite remember what floor I did. I think I did a mix of dirt and stuff like that. So we'll do like a, yeah, dirt and those other stuff. We'll do quite a bit of a mix, I think, for this. Now, you guys that are on later versions, I'm actually still on 1.7. It's just the version that I use because of the metadata type stuff, uh, which probably means nothing to you guys. But the extra blocks and stuff that I have uh, has that. Now, I'm going to be doing it with World Edit, but um, I'll show you how to do it normally. So we're just going to do some like three, actually probably a one, four, 13 and oh yeah, actually one three four 13 and we'll see what that looks like yeah that's fine so all you need to do is just grab something like dirt probably coarse dirt as well some st some stone uh, different types of stone will work some gravel uh, some cobblestone and you just uh, and just mix them all in together just like makes a bit make a bit of a mix um, so you would just grab these materials and just really randomize it world edit just does it for us makes it a lot easy not easier even uh, remember the dirt uh, grass will take over those so we've got to be a bit you know, careful like here I might want to block off that bit I might actually want to switch out some dirt for here and then put in like, one there or something and, and put one in there or some stone in there and then that one will get taken over by grass but that's fine that one will get taken over by grass but that's fine so it should look a little bit more patchy which is quite good what we'll do now is we'll go to the next floor so we get our smooth sandstone we're also going to grab some yellow uh, stained clay um, obviously normal sandstone. Also, we've got some sandstone slabs. Yeah, sandstone slabs as well for the next layer. So the next layer up here, anyway, is just going to be sandstone across the top. Like that. Okay. And then here. Now we can probably put in some pillars as well. So if we knock out this one and put in chiseled, uh, not chiseled, smooth. There we go. The same here as well. So that's where we've got like a natural of edge we can do the same exact thing here because then that looks like we've got a section of three here between them see so that's quite good so we'll go for those like that and do the same on the back as well that's like the slight change from my original design uh we can also do it there actually there you go so you get like this at the back it looks like a, a pillar three blocks pillar three blocks pillar three blocks like that which is quite nice two three we can do that there can't do that. Let's not even bother. Or maybe even just do it here or something like that. I think that that looks that will look alright as well going upwards. So we'll do that. Okay. Right. The next bit. So I think the first thing we need to do is probably put in a floor. So let's grab our oakwood slabs. So the roof here is just here. Put in our oakwood slabs like that. There we go. Let's get this roofs in. On all of these, uh, you could do this with world. Well, I think next time I will. When I remember the ID for this block, that's the problem. <laughs> if I knew the ID off the top of my head, I think I would. There we go. Get those there. As well as those there. Okay. Then right on this side here, where we've got this lifty bit up here, we're gonna go straight across. Then we're gonna go one, two, put one down. One, two, put one down like that. I'll just leave it like that. Nice and easy. Next thing we're going to do is going to go up with three blocks, one, two, three, on each of these corners. Like that. And I can also do one here as well. Like so. And over here. And we put one there, didn't we? Yeah, we put one there. Now well, we might as well put one right across that, so we get this kind of like platform. Um, Okay, the door's right on the edge now. I need to remember how big this is. I think this is just three. Yeah, it's just three blocks, so that's fine. <clears throat> so what we'll do now is grab our sandstone, and we're just going to go across here. Just these interior walls. You can use it with sandstone. You can use sand as well. Sand is pretty good. And it actually is pretty good. So we get these, like, interior bits. Like that. And across the fronts of these, this is where it gets a bit different because I don't really like what's happened here uh, with the yellow on the sides. I, I think it looks too stripy. 
So we're going to grab a sandstone stair. We're going to grab some fence as well. Uh, I think it's just one block up, as far as I remember. Let's have a look in the back. Jump in the back of these. Yeah, it's just one block up from that. So what we'll do is we'll fill this in with just sandstone for the time being. Okay, and then we're just going to cut that middle one out like that. Put an upside down sandstone stair there and put in a fence. Do the same in the next one. Oh, not with the yellow stain clay. Cut out those two. Put in that one there and put in that one there like that. This one doesn't have one because of just how it is. So this one we can do in yellow if you wanted to. It's really up to you though. If you think the yellow looks horrible, then take it out. And you might do. Uh, I'm not that keen on it, to be honest. It, it looks good in Conquest, which is the text break I designed this building in, but I, I'm not too sure if it looks good normally, unfortunately. And it might not even look that good in the back. So we'll see what it goes, how it goes. Um, yeah, this side, it, it kind of looks okay on. I'm trying to get in an extra colour or extra block to make it look like a painted wall. That's the idea, anyway. See, personally, I think it's going to look better with all of that. So, after all of that, I'm going to switch these out. But I'm going to do it the quick way, I think. So, personally, I think, yeah, it's going to have to be that. Wow, that was on. That was wrong. What did I do? 20... Okay. Wrong way round. So we're going to do it all out of sandstone, I think, for this. I think the default is going to look better in sandstone rather than having the yellow. But you can see the kind of ideas that I've done with that. I just think that that does, does look a lot better. Um, what we can also do, if you wanted to, is on this line here, we could have, for example, chiseled. Um, there it is. So you want to have that down there. It's up to you if, you if you like that or not, or if you think that looks a little bit too Egyptian. But I think that actually looks quite good as a line. I'm now going to grab... I've just got to replace the tool. This is actually a world edit thing. This will just make me do it quicker. If it takes you a little bit longer, then um, you, you can always just you know pause or stop the video. There you go. So you can see like how quick this is doing it for me. It just allows me to do this very, very quickly. So I'm going to bring that one up as well. As a pillar. Uh, I'll we'll bring one of those up as well. So that looks quite good, doesn't it? Yeah, do that. There we go. That'll give us that part of it. There we go. Um, what we're going to do next, I think we'll do the stairs. I'm actually going to do it out of wood, I think. I think wood will look better. We can do this iron bars. Let's just find out where it looks like it fits on the inside. Right in the corner, really. All away from the corner. So we jump inside. Go right over here, just cut that one out and put in one of those. I'll do. We're now going to grab some wood and yeah, I think I, I can figure this out. We're also going to grab some oakwood stairs and also oakwood, uh, oakwood slab and oakwood stairs. Sorry, guys. Completely losing it at the minute. And what we're going to do is right on this outside bit here. So these are going to be the doors. So you're going to have a door there, right in the middle, right in the middle, right in the middle. Uh, we're just going to put a platform in here. Because right up to there, there we have our stairs coming down from here. Let's go right next to that window and then upside down here, including that one. Uh, we're actually going to have an upside down here. Upside down here. So basically on the pillars to make it look like it's been supported. Like that. Um, now you'll notice that that's pretty unstable. Um, if, you ha if you can now float trap doors, because you can now float trap doors in 1.9, um, so you should be able to build something, put a trapdoor on it, and then pick it up and then take it away. Uh, put trapdoors on the outside of it. Uh, if you can't, which you might not be able to, let's just do it the other way, which is with the fence. So we'll grab a fence piece. There you go. You can use any type of fence for this and just go around the outside of your fence like this. It's not the nicest way, but uh, it does work. Like go to here, for example. Or you can do like a handrail down here. Oh my god, I cannot place blocks at all. Like that, there we go. So you get around there, all around here, and that's pretty cool. And then you also get a wooden door, and it's a sandstone stair. And put that in there, put that in there, that in there, and that in there like that. 
and that is nice and easy like that. Okay, we've got another door as well over on this side. Just cut this one out and put in your sensors there. Put your dog, God, put your door as well like that. That'll give us all of those little bits and pieces. Uh, we're still quite far away from actually having this very, very nice building. Uh, I would say it's quite nice anyway. I think it's quite nice. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, let's do this here. That's all right. So that's one over this part. So we're going to grab some brick. We're going to go over to here. We can just drop it like that. And just bring this in. And this just goes up to this level. It doesn't go any higher. Okay. And then down here, this one just reps in like that. Just one slab underneath. It just makes this look like a slab. It's higher than anything else. And then this wraps all the way around to near the end, actually. Just over to that pillar. So I'll drop this one down. Raise this one up. And then drop that one down there like that. It just adds a, like a, a nice little bit of colour to it, I think. Same with when it wraps around here as well. You can just do it like that. I don't think it wraps around the whole building. Nope, just wraps around to there. So there go. I've done it really, really straight there. There we go. That's what we get for that little bit. Uh, the actual roof itself is very, very easy. We're just going to go up in steps. Like that. And yeah, we'll actually need that, so that's fine. And then that to there. So let's just put in these. And it's just a simple going up in your slabs type of roof uh, that you get very, very common with the Italian style. And uh, yeah, that type of style. It's just very, very Roman. It's like probably the most Roman thing that you can do to a building in Minecraft anyway. It just make it instantly look Roman, especially if you use the brick. Uh, I'm not that keen on the brick in default. I just don't think it's the best block. But um, I think it still looks okay. You still get the idea of it. You still get that kind of like terracotta red. Uh, it's just the, the white bits on it. I don't think quite work. It looks too much like brick. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. Rather than like tile or something like that. I don't know. Here we go. And then you just do that. And there we go. Just like, like this. Make sure it goes over by one. Like that, and we're also going to build obviously the sandstone up to the top as soon as we can. Jump over, and do the same over here. Make sure to fill in those bits there. Like that, okay. So that gives us the, the real base, I guess, um, of the actual building itself. But it looks quite plain, and it does. I mean, if you have a look at this one, what's different? Well, the roof is completely, completely, completely different. So, what we're going to do is going to mess up the roof a bit. Way we do it is we use brick slabs and brick stairs. Um, and this is a really nice technique just to completely variate your builds. Um, for example, if I'm adding in a little bit there. Now, this is kind of like one of those those bits that makes it makes Minecraft look better. But in reality, it's not as realistic. It's a little bit too heavy. It's like over exaggerated. You know, like World of Warcraft has really over exaggerated buildings, but they look really cool. Same kind of thing in Minecraft. If you guys know about that, so first thing I always do is I just raise up the windows and the doors, and I'm only going to be doing this on one side. Um, but I'm going to make these windows like a little bit bigger. Maybe I'll make that one that big, uh, maybe this one that big, just so it's off center. Uh, we can do the same over here as well. We can actually open up these a little bit. Maybe it's just like that, and open up that one, and grab that one up as well. So you get that type of thing. So then it like starts to vary it. Because of that, we can then pull up these ones. So we can actually do stuff here where we get a stair that way. Wrapping those, and that makes that one looks look out of uh, not out of place, but you know a little bit raised up and interesting. Do the same over here. We can just grab in one of those. Don't know if we can do one there, but we can do something here where we have a stair. Or we can put a stair in there, for example. Maybe we can have that lower. Look at that. Makes it interesting. The other thing you can do is drop something. So you can actually drop one of these blocks. Now you can usually do it from here. Just have that drop. I also have a couple more around it. So, do is go to there. And up here as well. I'll just have this. And there, like that. And you can then drop as well as raise. And you can use the mixture of the two really creatively, as I've done here. So, here I've just gone really crazy with it. I've gone very, very detailed, especially on this side here. I mean, look at this side, it's crazy. Um, and that's just using, again, the dips like this. And the raises as well, like this. Okay, and then you create these like lumps. And it's almost like the center line is still there. I mean, you can still see it, but it's almost broken up. It's all, all different now. 
So you can do stuff like that. Uh, another really good technique that we can't really do, unfortunately, actually, is, is because of the way that we've done it. Uh, it's putting upside down stairs on, but that doesn't really matter. I mean, we can put one in... No, we can't put one in there. We can't put one in anywhere, so that's fine. But probably here like that, just to make it look offset on, on those bits. Um, so just go around and really variate it. It's a, it's a, it's one of those things that you just have to play with for a while. Um, you know, just do like weird stuff. Um, knock out a couple of these, put those down. You know, have this go up even more, so it's like being pulled across. Um, stop it from raining because that doesn't ne that never happens in Italy. No, they they never have rain. So you know, you can just start to variate it, and you can really do that quite a lot, um, as you've seen here. I will leave you guys to the rest of it though because it is just variating and like here look I've done a weird thing here with a stair that's then connecting to that I mean it's really strange and odd but it can, it works it does work uh, anyway next we're going to grab some fence we're going to grab some cage leaves and we're going to grab some jungle leaves I'm just going to do this on one side so say for example this wall we wanted to add some detail onto it now I think from what I remember there's a window on this side yeah, there's a window on that side so we'll put in the window do the same on the other side as well let's just cut out those two Put the window, because that's very important to <laughs> get the windows in first. <coughs> Sorry guys. Right, okay, so just grab your fence and you just spam it. Probably don't want to have that perfect, oh my god, I'm really destroying blocks. That's too diagonal for me, I think, but what we can do is do stuff like this. Like that, and do stuff like that, uh, and maybe like that. Then we just put in a couple leaves in between it, like this. Mm, yep, there. Maybe some there as well. Got a couple of jungle leaves, maybe. So this has got like the fruity stuff on it, as I always go on about. So I, I just think it looks like fruity stuff. I don't think it actually is, but there we go. And that's already just added. I mean, look at that, what that's done. It's just added in tons of detail. Putting a couple of like little vines and stuff. Um, and you're done, really. I mean, it's just it's as easy as that. And you can do that on like this side looks good with it. Uh, I, I think what I did on this one. Look at the front, we've got a couple of vines on the front, actually those those are overgrown. I've got a plug-in that stops them from growing naturally, so you can control them. Um, which is why they've all gone nuts now. I've got one here, a little wall there. A little bit on the side, it's going into the floor by accident, but it's not. And then a little bit over here where you're walking over. None on the back because that was in a cliff, uh, and then a lot on the side here. So you can really detail it up like that, uh, it's really nice. Let's get into one of these rooms anyway, we'll get those done. So, we can't float the, the uh, ladders, unfortunately. What we can do, though, is we can grab crafting tables, and we can grab a torch, and we can also grab some birch wood slabs. I think that's going to be the best one for this one. Um, so let's grab those. Nice and easy. Right, go into the middle here. What we're going to do is birch wood slab, birch wood slab, birch wood slab, birch wood slab. And we just do these in each corner. Like that. Put down your red uh, crafting table there, put a bit of torch in it. Two crafting tables like that, and you're done with one of the barracks things. I mean, it's as easy as that. So there, 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 there. Two of those, one of those. Put that there. Put these, oops, not like that, it's not high. There you go. I know what you're thinking about this one, but ignore it. Uh, that goes into those two, and also this one. And there's three of them at the back, of course. So if we just jump over. I might not be able to fly in now, but it's going to be one, two, three. They are all going to be exactly the same. So I'll show you visually. So not this one. The first one is going to be the one that has the balcony is going to be the Centurion. Okay. The rest of them are just fine. Uh, and also, obviously, remember to fill in your roofs where you can. So be, or not your roofs, but your you know your ceilings and stuff like that. That really helps out. Um, I can't even remember if I did some ceiling detail. We're going to have a look at that now. That's what I was looking at the kitchen. I think that's the best thing to do. Just to clear down this. And I did do little bits. Okay, we did little bits of detail. So I'll put in those detail bits now. Uh, we are also going to grab, yeah, oak wood slab, sign, um, fence, brown carpet. Grab some, uh, might as well grab all this stuff. Um, furnace. Uh, stone slab with pressure plate on it and a cauldron or something. Uh, and also a plant pot, yeah, we'll put a flower pot even. Flower pot, that's the one. Put this in, we'll put all this detail in. So inside the actual rooms, each of these, you're going to just raise up this part here and this part here. Not that part. 
Oh my god, this is the annoying bit about it. So I'll do that in each of those roofs, or rooms even. You know, you just go across and do these. You can just do that three times at least for the bottom. Uh, in this room here, so what we're going to do... Furnace, I'm actually going to grab a lit furnace. So I'm just going to do... Because uh, i got it the old way. So I'm going to put that right in front of the little vent that we made. I can then put stone slabs in, like this. Switch this one out for a cauldron. Put that cauldron, fill it with water. You can also use, obviously, the water bottle to get rid of it. What is it? Glass, glass bottle. Sorry. Glass bottle to get rid of a bit of water. Uh, shove a plant pot on top of that, for example. Put the pressure plate right next to it. That's pretty much it. Um, I think I put in, like, something else. Didn't, what did I put in here? I, I can use block of coal and I can use some trapdoors or something stupid like that, can't we? Yeah, we'll put that in there, put that in there, like that. Some horrible black tar stuff that they've been drinking. Um, probably not good for you. Now, I've got rid of, by accident, all that other stuff that I needed. So I need an oakwood slab, <coughs> a sign. Uh, <coughs> God, my voice, my, my throat's dying. Also a fence and some brown carpet, wherever it is, brown carpet. And also some string. Grab some string as well. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, little little cheat chair, cheaty chair. Yeah, chair right here. Uh, just put in those, put in a little sign on the back of them. Got a nice little seat. Then what we're going to do here is going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then one, oh, no, one, one, two, three, four, five. So we get like a bench to bury, put in the fence every so often. Put in some string. Put your carpet on it. Like that. And that's it for your room. I mean, it's, it's really, really easy. And you just get all the stuff going out of that one. Um, I think what I did with the roof as well was I actually put the roof going across on these two sides. And that looks right. That makes it look a lot smaller. Um, more cramped. I was thinking it looked too open. But there you go. That's what we do for that bit. Um, let's have a look at the other bits that we've got. So. Pretty sure we got all these. Yeah, we've got the roofs to do. So we'll do that quickly. I'll show you guys how to do that. Uh, so if you grab your spruce wood stairs and slab, just grab those two. Go into this room, for example. Um, first thing we do is we always make sure that we've got enough of these blocks filled up. Then we plug the holes. Oops. And we plug the holes like that. And on that side, grab your spruce spruce wood uh, stairs, and we're just going to go into these two middle bits. I think I'm going to do two stairs like that. And that'll be a slab joining into both of those. We then join those slabs, okay? And we also join them into the wall. But sometimes you can make it a little bit more random and, and actually uh, make it make it a bit more interesting as well. So that one, for example, I might drop this one down so I can have like that there, or I might drop this one down. Actually, have this going down like that, or or something. You can do like really interesting stuff, but you just do that with all of them. Um, so you just keep on going into these, plug the holes, and you can just mess around with it, make it a little bit messy so that the roof beams look like they're falling apart. Next bit anyway, we're going to grab a bed, and we're going to grab a chest, and we're going to grab some sort of slabs that we can pretend are a desk, and we're going to grab a little chair thing, so we might actually do that out of birch, or oh, let's do it out of acacia, we'll do it out of acacia. Um, yep, that'll do. So we put in two beds here, put a double chest at the back of that, and do a jungle wood, and like desk thing here we actually might do that out of you know do that out of uh, stairs instead I think stairs are gonna look tons tons better okay so jungle wood, jungle wood stair there jungle wood stair there put in that little seat there like that and then we're gonna have is two little trapdoors like that uh, we can also put in like a plant pot with something in it <laughs> I don't know what let's go with ox oxide daisy we're gonna have that there Put that in there, put on also like a, a reading pad, that's the idea. It's a pressure plate or something like that. That's it. Nice and easy, isn't it? So we'll go on to the next little garden -y bit. And just just to see what I've done, really, that's all it is. Uh, another table, so grab a good slab, sign, carpet, brown thing, ender portal, acacia leaves, purple carpet, uh, plant pots. Oh, yeah, it's a bit of a... Lots of plant pots, really. <laughs> Anyway, what we'll do here, chair, chair, sign, sign, fence, carpet there, do the one, two, three, four, five, six pieces like that, put your end portal in, we're also going to need the eye bender, shove that on there, go one, two, like that, to make a little flower thing, 
Uh, we're then going to clear a couple of those down, grab yourself a plant pot, grab yourself a couple of random plants. Use pink tulip, I'm going to use some dandelions, going to use blue orchid. And I'm just going to go there, there, and there. That'll do. I'm going to put that one in there. That one in there, put that one in there. And I'm also going to put one right on this. Like if you've got a windowsill like that, you might as well put one on there as well. That's it, guys. Really simple design. Um, there's not really too much to it, of course. Just fat, you know, rip. Like randomize the roofs, obviously. That's that's one of the things to make it look really interesting. Like this one does look really interesting. Because um, other other than that, it's a pretty basic building, very very standard shaped um, and very modular. But hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the tutorial anyway. If you have, comment, like, subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.